Welcome. Looks like Germany's best. The Leopard main battle tank is in trouble in Syria. The Leopard 2A4 is the best tank in the Turkish army and there was no reason to expect a very poor battlefield performance. In the fall of 2016, Turkish Leopard 2s of the 2nd Armored Brigade finally deployed to the Syrian border to support Operation Euphrates Shield, Turkey's intervention against ISIS. After losing a dozen of modernized Patton tanks the Turks decided to replace Pattons for Leopards with a hope of better performance and fewer losses. On paper, all tanks are perfect, same applies to Leopards. Awesome crew protection, great gun and superior mobility. The Russians took their lessons in the tank making in Iraq and Chechnya. On the contrary, the Western arms makers had no chance to battle prove their tanks in urban warfare and that was the reason to believe that their products are clearly superior and nearly indestructible. All changed with so-called Arab Spring when the disputable balance of power and order disappeared literally overnight. The Arab world plunged into chaos and mayhem began. Leopard 2 main battle tank has a reputation as one of the finest in the world, competing for that distinction with proven designs such as the American M1 Abrams, British Challenger 2 and French Leclerc. However, that reputation for nigh invincibility has faced setbacks on Syrian battlefields and placed Berlin in a uniquely awkward national level dispute with Turkey, its fellow NATO member. Turkish Army's Leopard 2A4 tank had proven embarrassingly vulnerable in combat. German MBT is pretty similar to the M1 Abrams. Both tanks utilize the 120mm main gun produced by Rhine Metal. Both are powered by a 1500 horsepower engines, though of different design yet powerful enough to push both machines to a maximum speed of over 60 km per hour. In general, the Leopard and M1 were designed to fight Russian tanks in Cold War theater. None of those was designed for hit-and-run warfare which is the main element of clashes in the Middle East where enemy operates in small groups often hiding in urban areas and waiting for a chance to use their most effective weapons the ATGMs. Both Leopard and M1 have to face Russian-made AT-4, AT-5, AT-7 or US-made tow missiles and it does not look like the alleged machines are up for the task. Germans sold 354 Leopard 2A4 tanks to Turkey, all tanks were retired from the Bundeswehr. The Leopards were to replace the less advanced M60 tanks which till this date are the most common tanks in Turkish army. The 2A4 retains an older box-shaped turret which provides less protection from modern anti-tank missiles, especially to the generally more vulnerable rear and side armor, which is a bigger problem in a counterinsurgency environment where an attack may come from any direction. In December 2016, evidence emerged that numerous Leopard 2s had been destroyed in intense fighting over ISIS-held El Bab. Turkish army lost 10 Leopards, 5 were destroyed by ATGMs, 2 by mines, 2 by IEDs and last one was disabled by mortar fire. The footage from fightings in Syria shows clearly that Leopards are not designed with hit-and-run warfare in mind. Blown off turrets, Hulls literally in pieces are not a rare sight. But tank itself is not to blame for all the losses. Isolated and exposed firing positions without adequate nearby infantry to form a good defensive perimeter, the Turkish Leopards were vulnerable to ambushes. The same poor tactics have led to the loss of numerous Saudi Abrams tanks in Yemen. The biggest issue with the Leopard 2A4 is the poorly protected ammunition storage compartment. Some pictures show tanks being completely destroyed by an exploding ammunition. The Syrian war exposed the Cold War school tank designed to be completely inadequate for modern hit-and-run warfare. The passive protection offered by those machines has proven to be not sufficient enough to protect the crews. Take into account that Western tanks are extremely expensive and at least theoretically, should be considered as a second or third chance machines capable of taking hits and survive. In 2018 a tank without active protection is considered an easy target, especially for ATGMs. If Turkey thinks seriously about deploying more Leopards to Syria then they have to look for someone to modernize their tanks and do it fast. The Leopard 2A4 has a very bad reputation among the crews, recently German machines were nicknamed bombs on tracks. In my personal opinion, an MBT design has to change entirely. 
Less armor and more active protection is something to be taken seriously into consideration because the era of steel monsters is clearly ending. Thanks for stopping by. Please share like and subscribe for more interesting stuff. Take care and see you next time.